location that's not readily available to the public. Can I get her name? No. Uh, yeah, you're a public what do you service. Need my name for it? Because I'm a. If you can video me, I can video him. But you have to understand that when you video record me on public dime, that that phone becomes public records. Uh, you have in front of you an appeal filed by the individual um, appealing the town clerk's denial of his FOIL request. So can I get a motion to, to uh, let's say, can, uh, a motion to deny the, P the appeal is denied by our town clerk, Jim Christman. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor of denying the appeal, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and the appeal is denied. Good evening. This is the dimension of unbelievability. It is an area which we call the Frauditor Zone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we show the Frauditor with the channel name of Auditing Erie County. The story started in March when the Frauditor went to audit the Canandaigua Town Hall in Canandaigua, New York. He got triggered by a can back from an employee as all forwarders do, and filled out a records request to get the video from her phone. The problem was that she took the video using her personal cell phone, so his request was denied. He then appealed the denial, and that was denied as well. He then decided to file a lawsuit to get the video footage. Imagine someone being so triggered and butthurt from a camback that they're willing to spend time and money going through a lawsuit just to get a five second video of themselves looking stupid. But believe it or not, it's real and it happened here in the Frauditor Zone. Can I help you? No, I don't need help. Okay, well, you can't just come in here and videotape and and take pictures without people's permission. Why? Because it's against the law. You can't do that. What law is that? What law is that? Yeah. This is a public place. Hello. Can I help you? No, I don't need any help. Okay. He's videoing. Yeah, you can't do that can't, in a public place. That's against the law. No, there's no law against that. Hold off. That's a, Let me take you to the town clerk. No, I actually, I'm, I'm just a... Yeah, could finish you up pictures I'm taking the door. We're going to close this door. We're closing this office. You can come with me. Why would you close this office? Is it closed? Can closing you come time? with me to the town clerk? No, thank you, sir. Did you find out what law that is? Can I help you? Did you find out what law that you is? Applying for a building permit and everything? Um, no, I'm just working on a story on the. Okay. The town hall. That's all. If I can help you, please uh, ring the bell and I'll come right up. And the only help I would need would be to know that law that it's we'll, uh, the one that is illegal to take pictures without consent in here. I never stated that. Oh, okay. As long as you guys understand that. No, that's it. Thank you. There is, behind that desk, this desk, Yeah. information that's not readily available to the public. Can I get her name? No. Uh, yeah, you're a public what service. What do you need my name for? Because I'm a... If you can video me, I can video him. But you have to understand that when you video record me on public dime, that, that phone becomes public records. Now I'm going to need that video. So I need to do a public records request. She wasn't videoing. She just said she was videoing. She's not videoing. She's not videoing anymore? No. Nope. How convenient. I need a public records form. There is a freedom of information request you can fill out with a town clerk. And I need her name. Her name is probably right on that thing. This is Allison Hirschman. It is. Hi. Right. Don't erase that, Allison Hirschman. Don't make that would be a, that would be a service. That would be a crime to erase uh, public records. Well, it is true that it's a crime to delete a public record, a video on a personal cell phone is not considered a public record unless it contains information relating to the conduct of government or the performance of any governmental or proprietary function prepared, owned, used, 
or retained by any state or local agency regardless of physical form or characteristics. A five second video of some douche canoe on a personal cell phone does not apply. While the douche canoe thinks his presence there is considered official government business, in reality it is not. But hey, I'm no Google constitutional law scholar like he is. So let's move on to the records request and hear what they have to say about it. May I get a public records request? Uh, for your request? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a pen I can use to fill that out? I think I left mine in the truck. Mm -hmm. That filled out. Um, what I'm requesting here is a video taken by Allison Hirschman off her cell phone just now. She took a video recording of me or pictures taken. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm taking. So I would advise her not to delete that because destruction of public records is a crime. And uh, while she was working, she pulled out her cell phone camera, took some pictures of me. So I I'm requesting that. I don't know if we can pull that off of her cell phone. I know, um, I know for a fact because I've done it lots over. of times before. Lots of times before? Well, first of all, that's just pathetic review. It's a complete waste of government money and time to spend to getting a video of a moron standing there looking stupid. In addition, it's pathetic that you spend so much of your time requesting these things. Furthermore, let's say you actually did get the footage. Congratulations! You did absolutely nothing of importance, and I'm sure you're proud of yourself. However, maybe the owner of the cell phone allowed them to send it to you, probably so you'd see how stupid you look in the video. But wait, you did it lots of times before, so that must mean that you know better than everyone else. Sorry, I forgot the way the Florida of the Mind works for a second. Okay, we can Anybody get this over to Chris the... Nettler, who's our attorney. We can't tell her to Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I so mean... So we would get this over to Chris Nettler, and he will get, um, figure that out for us. All right, and your name is? Rebecca Doyle. And you are? The deputy town clerk. Deputy town clerk, mm -hmm. and you're also a deputy town yes. clerk? Yes, yep. All right, yeah. I, I know I can do it because I've done it all over the place, um, when public employees take out a phone and make public records while on the clock that's public records it's also a crime to delete that public record so mm -hmm. you can advise her at this time you know don't delete it at this point talk to whoever you need to talk to mm -hmm. and then uh, you know you got five days to respond to that and then 20 days we past know. that to mm -hmm. yep. get that so to me get so this over to Chris Nettler and he will get back to you on yes. that. all right okay. thank you very much yes and that's welcome. all I needed several days later Canadagua to appeal a full request they have denied. Uh, it is the 27th. It's a Monday and uh, let's get inside and uh, appeal that denied full request. Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm here to uh, appeal a denied full request. Okay. Um, you guys denied my full request because you said that... Uh, Let me get Jean. Hold yeah. on one second. Perfect. She's just on the phone with someone. No problem. Hi there. How you doing? Good, how are you? Alright, I'm here to appeal a denied full request. Sure. Um, you could deny a full request because you said that Mrs. Uh, Hirschman's phone is not part of the uh, public records that is of correct. the town. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually not true, that's invalid. As okay. a matter of fact, I'm, uh, I've gone ahead and I attached some other people. Okay. This, this here is a photo of uh, the town supervisor taking my photo. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, give me a sec. <laughs> I was wrong. He doesn't look stupid. He looks ridiculously and utterly stupid. Why would anyone care about being denied something like this? If I was him, I would just say thank you and call it a day. 
Just wow. <laughs> okay. I'll you that one. This is a photo of a town clerk taking my photo. Okay. I'll retrieve that for mm -hmm. the New York State Fall. Okay. Um, this is a photo of her taking my photo and okay. video. Sure. And I do want to put in there that Allison Hirschman did state that uh, if he's taking my video, I can record him. So she okay. did take a video, so I don't want to be denied that um, okay. it's not. So I am going to appeal that. I sure. wrote out the appeal here. I've also attached my attorney's number. So if okay. you deny my appeal, okay. we're going to take it before a New York State Supreme Court judge. So yep. if I could just get a photocopy of this it's appeal. It's 25 cents a page. Right. Okay. After, after you timestamp, of course. I just need the front page. You don't have to disconnect. You just want this front page? Yeah, just the front page. Sure. That, that shows yep. the appeal. Yep, it's 25 cents, please. It's the one the refund. Yes. Okay. 25 cents for a receipt. It's not a receipt. You're asking for a copy. So a yeah, copy a photo, is, 20, is 25 right. cents. Well, while we're at it, can I get a photocopy of my original file request as well? The one you denied? Sure. Yep, so it would be 50 cents. So it's 50 cents for a receipt here? You're not getting a receipt. You're asking for a copy. A yeah, a copy of, of I the can, I can put your name in the computer. A Let me finish, please. I can put your name in the computer and put it in as copies, and then you will get a receipt. I'm, not, I'm asking for a receipt of this, like a photocopy receipt of this is okay. what I'm asking for, and you're charging me 50 cents. I'm so charging you a quarter per, per page. Per page. Yes. Which is a, you're probably charging me for the receipt. No, nope, my receipt I'm, is what I, I would I print out of my... I believe I'm having to take you guys to court over this. Is he really complaining about having to pay 50 cents for his own copies? Did he just say he was going to take her to court for the 50 cent charge? You know, this part doesn't need any more commentary as the stupidity speaks for itself. Because okay. You guys are, um, so not you're asking for a receipt for your 50 cents, correct? No, I'm asking for a receipt of this. When I insert this photo, I didn't want a photocopy of this as a receipt with the timestamp on it. And again, now that it's a town record, it's 25 cents a page. That's right. It's a town record, which means it's public property. I hope he didn't destroy those papers because that's a crime. But I'm not for a request. I'm asking for a receipt that you received it, in other words. You understand what I'm saying? So you're calling, what I'm saying is, I'm not asking for those public records. Mm -hmm. I'm asking for a receipt of this being the timestamp to receive copy. I don't mind paying the 50 cents. I just mm -hmm. want to make sure you understand that I'm not receipt job. of this. I know my job. I know how to how to do this. But thank you so much for trying to do things. To get a free you, for trying to get a free receipt. It's I if if you want a copy of this again now that it's a town record, you need to fill out another FOIL request and pay 25 cents a page. Is that what you would like to do? No, I would like a receipt, a time a, a photocopy of a timestamp receipt. And I just explained how you, you want get me to that. fill out a full request for that. Yes, because now it yeah, is. I, a, I will uh, fill out a full request. That'd for be that. wonderful. Yes, please. If you guys want to be difficult? You're gonna find out the hard way how difficult it is being. So you're asking us to deal directly with your attorney and not with you. No, correct? you're dealing with me. I'm okay. just saying you can call her and ask her if uh, we're playing games with public records because I don't play games with I'm public records. I'm not playing records. games. Apparently you no, are. No, I'm you, not. Because you, you did not put your name on here, not unless I'm missing it. Is it on here that I'm missing it? It's on the original. The original. But on this, doc this is the document that you're requesting the town board to take a look at because I denied your FOIL. So this is, this is an appeal of the original FOIL request. Correct. And that goes in front FOIL, of my town board. The original FOIL request has all the information on it. As a matter of fact, this, this one but, here is going to have more on it for you. Okay. So if you would like me to contact you directly, would you please put your name and phone number on here? So that way I know. That way, otherwise, I'm going to contact your attorney. And can you please let, note your last name? Negative. Okay. That's not part of New York State law. Okay. You just make note that uh, auditing Erie County is an official DBA, mm -hmm. official business of New York. Okay. All right. Yep. Julie, you can scan that and make a email. That way, I don't have to pay you anything. Sure, we can do that. Absolutely, I'll get that over to you. Absolutely, can do that. Mm -hmm. I've never been charged for a photocopy okay. of receipt.
All right, then I will cancel that and I'll get that emailed over to you. Thank you. All right, all right. Anything else I can help you with today? No. All right. Have a great day. The next day. We will move to our priority business, which is the discussion regarding denial of access to records submitted by Auditing Erie County. Um, and I will turn the time over to our town clerk, Gina Crispin, to and Mr. Nadler to explain the situation to us. They'll explain the situation to us, what happened, uh, what their what information they have found in um, doing more research on the topic. And then it will come to us to either uphold the denial, excuse me, to uh, approve the appeal and basically allow the records or to uphold the denial. I was on the right road. So we're either gonna uphold the denial or overturn the denial. Uh, of record. Sure. That's correct, uh, Supervisor Simpson. Uh, my understanding is that an individual submitted a FOIL request to the town records officer, records management officer, your town clerk, Jean Christman, on March 22nd, 2023, requesting, quote, the video and pictures taken by Allison, Hirsch by Allison Hirschman from cell phone camera on 3-22-23 between 1.20 p.m to 1 35 p.m. My understanding is that on March 27th, the town clerk denied the FOIL request because that the because the video and or phone photos are not records that are maintained as a town record. Uh, you have in front of you an appeal filed by the individual um, appealing the town clerk's denial of his FOIL request. The basis for the appeal is that the alleged cell phone video and photos are town records. Uh, my recommendation, and with your indulgence, we'll ask the town clerk some questions about her determination that they are not town records, uh, and then you can render a decision. Does that make sense? Yes. Yep. I'll start by reading uh, from the definitions of public officer's law New York State Public Law, Officer's Law, Article 6, Section 86, Subparagraph 4. A record means any information kept, held, filed, produced, or reproduced by, with, or for an agency in any physical form whatsoever, including but not limited to reports, statements, examinations, memoranda, opinions, folders, files, books, manuals, pamphlets, forms, papers, designs, drawings, maps, photos, letters, microphones, computer tapes, or disks, rules, regulations, or codes. Your own town code in section 56-3 defines records as official files, minutes, and documents, books, papers, photographs, sound recordings, microforms, or any other materials regardless of physical form made or received pursuant to law or in conjunction with the transaction of official town business. Here is where we have the disconnect. Forditors think whenever they're holding a camera in a government building, that makes what they're doing official business. However, the rest of the people in the real world that have even a single clue does not believe that a douchebag holding a camera in a government office for his lame YouTube video qualifies as official business. It's his own personal business. I was going to post the definition here for him, but then I realized it's a waste of time. Even if God himself came down and told him, he would instead argue with God. Forder's minds are very closed, but then again, it might be because they don't have one. You can't have an open mind if you have no mind. Right? Now it asks the clerk if the requested video is a record. It is not. Okay. Um, do you, as the record management officer, have that uh, item? I do not. Did you inquire of the uh, individual's department head whether the department had it? I did, and they do not. Okay. Um, I understand that you also asked the Committee on Open Government for some advice on the issue? I did. I explained the whole situation and they gave me what I wrote in the denial that it's not an official record because it's not a record that we would keep and it's not part of her official duties to 
take photos or videotaping. I concur with the committee on open government's um, recommendation and advice. I gave that recommendation and advice to the town clerk separately on the day that the, you issued the denial, I believe, March 27th. Mm -hmm. That's um, and I give you the same advice now that that is that the video taken by a employee on their personal cell phone is not a town record subject to Freedom of Information Act. Um, any questions or any discussions on the matter? No. No. Okay. Um, I would just like to thank uh, thank Eugene for the time and effort. Uh, the time and effort that you put into this and the <coughs> due diligence you did in reaching out to state agencies, uh, whose job is to make sure that we are open and transparent and we answer that they received uh, really back. So what we do here, and I appreciate that, the time that you put in. Uh, likewise, Mr. Nantley, for your, your counsel. Um, so if there is no other uh, discussion at this time, um, can I get a motion, a motion to approve or deny to, the appeal. So can I get a motion to, to uh, let's say, can, a motion to deny the, the appeal is denied by our town clerk. To move. Jean Christman. Second. Okay. All in favor of denying the appeal, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and the appeal is denied. I would like to make one point for the record, or a couple points for the record. Um, the town clerk very rarely denies FOIL records, uh, FOIL requests. Is that accurate, Jean? That is accurate, yes. Um, and then uh, the second point I'd like to make for the record is that there's a direct threat of litigation in this uh, in the appeal. Take this appeal seriously. If it is denied, we will file Article 78 and take it before a New York State Supreme Court judge and with an attorney's uh, contact information. This board is perfectly within its rights to enter into executive session to discuss this matter or into a private session to discuss attorney client privilege. And I, none of you have requested that, uh, nor do I think it would be appropriate because this is again, open and transparent. Okay. All right. Any other comments? Um, nope. We do have Several months later, May 11th down here on Thursday down at the town of Canandaigua to serve them with a lawsuit for the paperwork and uh, Allison Hirschman's camera footage is that they denied. Okay, I am a process server. My name's Samantha. Yes. I'm here to serve you with the lawsuit. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I just have you well, can I copy your full name off your name too? Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Have, have a good day. one. Yep, you too. This is the Article 78 filing that we serve them with and one thing that is neat about it is Canadagua, the town, is inside of Ontario County. And when we filed this, we were able to file them to go to Monroe County. So they're going to New York State Supreme Court in a different county out of their own jurisdiction completely so that we would get a fair trial. In my opinion, we figured this would be the best way to do it. So this is the filing index number and this is what we took them. So let's recap. He was denied twice because the cell phone video is not considered a public record, but this moron still refuses to believe them, probably because that's not what he's told by News Now Ninja and other idiots on YouTube. So he's paying his lawyer to take them to court, and if a miracle happens, and he actually wins, this is something like he will get as a reward. I say no matter what, dude, you still lose. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It's now time to cool down from the Frauditor Zone. The link to the cool down video is right above and the link to my entire new cool down channel is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and hit the like button. Good night.